We are back home. In California, safe and sound. Sunny, clear California. In our area it was, anyway. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders, everybody. I am Rich. And I am Cake. And we are back from our vacation. Our 15-day vacation wind up being 45 days. <laughs> 45 days. Well, in the original video, you guys remember, Cake said she didn't know we was coming home. When anyway. we were coming home. But and he, they, he we didn't think it was going to be 45 saying days. Saying 15 days. We'll be back 15 days. 45 days later. We are finally back home. Safe and sound. And we definitely appreciate all the well wishes and people praying for us to have a safe ride on the road. Oh, yes. We definitely appreciate that. And all the subscribers checking in with us day to day. Because the last time we done a update, we were in Branson, Missouri. Missouri. Branson, Missouri. And we had an opportunity to ride down to Arkansas. And it was going to ride back up to Springfield to ride Route 66 home. And that's what we did. That's exactly <laughs> what we done. It was a beautiful, long ride. And those of you who have written Route 66 before, know that there's no way you're going to see everything on Route 66 anyway. And know that you will not be doing 300, 405, 100 miles a day because you will miss a lot. We did Route 66 with no GPS. None. <laughs> Which means what? No maps. Meaning if you know Route 66... The original is not there. Some parts are. Yes. But when it ends, it ends. So we were U-turn, U-turn, <laughs> U-turn, U-turn. Because some of them ended without saying road in or dead right, in right. or no With through streets end. or anything. But it was fun. Yeah. It was Make all Make sure fun. you do your parking lot practice, especially your U-turns, which we will put some more videos out about parking lot practice to help you if you need it. But... Melody and Willardy did Willardy. Well, they call themselves the Willardies <laughs> the anyway. The anyway, right. They did remind us that we did not do a last update. update. Then she texts when she got home and said, hey, we didn't do the final update. Well, we're doing the final update for you, so we're going to speak on your behalf. Because I know you had a lot of fun. Cause it's like Green hat crew, baby. Talking that we did while I'm representing Pink to be at home for October rest. Cancer Awareness Month. Yes, as you all know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so men don't be afraid to wear your pink. Real men wear pink too. Um, I got on pink. <laughs> I don't have on no I'm, pink socks, girl. I'm just making, because he don't have pink on it to make sure my pink socks wasn't missing. I'm going to put pink on later today when we go out for our walk. Okay. So anyway, Route 66, I know a lot of people like to put that on their biking list and make sure you put it on your biking anyway. list, but... Nobody you want to go because some of the some of the the touring companies will bring you to Vegas and the Grand Canyon, which we visited Grand Canyon on this trip. Yes. And really not part of Route sixty six, but if you plan it right, you can still have enough time to see Vegas and the Grand Canyon as well as everything else on Route sixty six, yeah. and still complete it. Now, well, I guess they put the Grand Canyon to Route sixty six because it's not that far. Yes, probably from about an hour from Flagstaff and an hour yeah. from Williams. It doesn't matter which way right. you go in, but if you plan on riding Route 66, just get in your head now. You will not see everything. So kind of look at some things that you want to see and then do Route 66. This is our third time riding it, and we still haven't seen everything, but we had a blast. So that means there will be a fourth time because we need Maybe. to see everything. But anyway, while riding Route 66, we stopped at the famous Lucille's restaurant. Right, 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 right. And as we were leaving, we met this lady in the parking lot. Her name was Madelia. Anyway, we have our own video, so yeah, we'll, we'll put that clip. We'll put in a clip there. in. Let me, there. let me speak on that right quick. You guys had pulled out. I was the last one in the parking lot, and I said, "Hey, I'm talking to the lady," and I said, "I got to leave because they're gonna try to leave me." <laughs> and I got in line with them. Cake was leading. Melody was second. I was third, and Willie was running tail gunner. And we look in our mirror, and we see the lady following us, and she was on a scooter. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. She rode a middle motorcycle because her story is extraordinary. She rode all oh, 50 yeah. states. Oh, yeah. She had done it in all 50 states. So we'll put that clip with her. And not her. <laughs> okay. I have ridden my Honda Pacific Coast in the lower 48 
Mexico, Canada, and then I borrowed a motorcycle when my daughter and her husband and my grandbaby was in Hawaii. So I got to ride a motorcycle in Hawaii. And then I was on the cruise ship um, to Alaska and our captain heard about it. So I got to ride a 90cc Honda at the cruise ship's uh, parking lot in Vancouver, <laughs> in, up in Alaska. So I have ridden all 50 states plus Canada and Mexico right. on motorcycles. And not only she was following us, you asked. Um, I said, hey, Willie, I said, tell her to come up front and lead us to right. So when we got up front, she pulled over at, a, at one of the iconic motels and was telling us the history about it. Then she said, well, how far are you guys? So I said, how far are you going? She said, well, I'm going to go as far as the museum. So she took us to the route, uh, museum on Route yeah, we 66. Had a, a special tour, and guys. she led us from, I don't know how many miles it was, but she was with us for a long time. And it was a fantastic ride. I mean, we And I appreciate her for that, coming in front. Yes, we met so many people doing so many things. Obviously, when you're doing these things, all you YouTubers know that when you're on a road on a motorcycle, it's hard to keep up with the channels that you want to watch. So we had to put YouTube on hold for a while outside of doing the updates. Right. And so that's why we haven't been watching videos, but I actually caught up. Well, I can say caught up, started doing some Ben watching, ben watching uh, late last night and today prior to making this. So we're back, in, we're back at home. We're back in a, in a swing of YouTube and doing <laughs> things like that. But uh, while we were in Texas, yeah. I got the job offer. <laughs> I got a new job. I didn't know he was <laughs> applying for a new job. <laughs> But and he did, but I will not be moving to Texas. With so they will let me transfer the job me. to California. So I'm going to put that clip in right now of my job interview. You guys are going to love it. How my stomach <laughs> Standing up tall, man. Anyway, <laughs> as we was riding yeah. Route 66, I don't know if you know know that Willie is a musician. He plays guitar, so we got some clips we're gonna put in him playing his guitar. Also, yeah, he played he played beautiful. A mean guitar, yeah, and I'm, mm -hmm. and I'm serious about that. So, as a matter of fact, he was playing when we were in Standing on the Corner. Yes, in Winslow. Yes, and he played yeah. the guitar, and it was beautiful. Yes. There's so much to see on Route 66 um, going westbound, and then obviously now it ends at Santa Monica Pier. And we was trying to get to Santa Monica Pier, we had to do a deviation and wind up going on Highway 136, 136, 138, 138. That 138 wasn't planned. Because and wow. We. You're in Sons of California, you definitely want to ride that particular highway. Now, we know there's Mulholland Highway and all the things that's famous in, in Southern California, but you definitely want to ride 138. And, and 18. 138, which goes and into 18, 18, into San Bernardino. Mm -hmm. And the next day, we got back on Route 66 and continued our journey. But the entire trip was, was just phenomenal. I just want to thank those people that help us along on this trip because... We were in South Dakota, which was at to Mount Rushmore. What was not part of the trip? Right. The part of the trip was supposed to stop in Colorado and come, and back, come back to California, but that didn't happen because somebody said, "Well, let's, how far is Mount Rushmore?" So we wind up in Mount Rushmore. While in Mount Rushmore, somebody said, "Oh no, you have to go to Minnesota, to Duluth, Minnesota, and ride the North Shore." And that and continued throughout the, too. throughout the so trip. So to everybody that said to us, oh, no, you have to go and try this road and try that road. I think we did everything that somebody told us <laughs> to do because we had no, no plan. But yeah. I think but, just about everything. But we got to remember, we really had no plan, but this is one of the better trips that we had. And we've been across country several times and rode many, many miles. This trip was kind of like how it started off. We drew darts at the dartboard. Right. And that's how Colorado came out. But we love every minute bit of it. And some of the best part of the trip is meeting new people, especially meeting the motor vloggers that we have seen on oh, YouTube. Oh, yeah, we met quite yes. a few of them. How many states yeah. we covered? 15, 16? 15, 16? 
Yeah. So I think I counted 16 states, maybe 17. Okay. And you like know, that. Melody picked up the new Can-Am. And the last time we spoke with her, she was already at 5,000 miles on a Can-Am before we even returned to California. So I would talk to her and get the exact mileage and put the exact mileage she had in this. Right. And I got to calculate the exact mileage of the trip. I think it was like 6,500 miles, something right. like that. I think it was more a than that. A trip that was supposed like, to be 2,600 miles. Because I yes. think it's more than that. So, so but, but it was a fantastic trip. We definitely appreciate you all. And if you're first time subscribing, make sure you... you Click the bell also so you can see the updates because we're probably going to make a series of updates from the vacation. And prior to that, to prior to the vacation updates, I can say update videos coming out, we're going to make some separate videos because some of the things that we've seen other motorcyclists do on this trip and even prior to coming to this trip because I got rear ended yes. and I will talk about that. I'm going to make a video on that or how to avoid certain things that we've seen on the trip in hopes that we all become better riders. It's not just about us, it's about everybody, us actually sharing our knowledge with everybody also. But enough of that, the trip was just fantastic, off the chain, fantabulous, you know, the words that I can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you, baby, I'll help you. You know I'm Google. You got anything else to have? Um, no. No, because we're gonna have to let the videos speak for speak themselves. For themselves so we're gonna wrap this 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 proportion no up. For Thanks for joining us on our vacation. We had a fantastic time. Yes. So if you still have your bike out and you actually ride and had to put your bike up yet for your riding season, remember ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I am Rich. I'm Willie. I'm Melody, and I am Cake. <laughs> And the Green Hat Crew. And we out. Peace. 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 Ooh, I love it. You know we have to put them in there. <laughs>